unboxing slash review of Love Every. So Love Every was really kind to reach out to us and send us some of their play kits. And then we also have something over here for baby girl. A lot of you guys are always asking me to show like some of the girls' toys and what they're loving. I like them to play with things that are like hands on, things that get them like thinking and get like their imagination moving. So those are the kind of toys that I like to gravitate towards. So that's kind of what Love Every is about. Montessori play. So I'm so excited to do this unboxing. And then I'm sure the girls are gonna love all the toys, right? Yeah, we love toys. Yeah. So a little bit about Love Every. Everything is designed by experts for your child's developing brain. They have stage-based play. So all of their products are specifically designed for each of your child's learning stages and milestones. Their toys are thoughtfully crafted, so they're made with harvested wood, organic cotton, and baby safe plastic to deliver the quality your child deserves. So with all of that being said, are you guys ready to play with some toys? Yeah! Okay, so the first things we're going to open are the play kits. So this one right here is the investigator play kit. So all of their kits are based off of like your child's age. Layla is a little bit old for this. She's out of like Love Every's age range because Layla is six, Aurora is two. So we're gonna have to just see how this is. Here's what it looks like as soon as you open it. I'm pretty excited about this, girls. Really? So here is what it looks like. So it comes with this card, and then it just tells you everything that's in the box, which is really nice. So I'm gonna lay this in front of me so that way I can read it off of it for you guys. And here is what it looks like. Mom! Woo! So in every single play kit, you get a play guide, which is really cool. So this helps you like learn about the toys that are in here and all of the games that you can play with the toys and it just shows you things about like your child's development at this stage. It talks about the play things and just a bunch of like activities in here. So this one, what is this? So this is Jump In Echo Hoops and Organic Cotton Bean Bags. So this helps with motor development with Hopping, tossing, and jumping. So here are the rings, the hoops, and then there should be like bean bags in here. Bean bags. So we're gonna set the hoops aside, and when I come across the bean bags, I'll just show you guys because I don't see them at the moment. So this is a match and tap hammer box. It practices matching cause and effect, and motor skills. That, so that, here yeah. is what it looks hey, like. look, there's some of this stuff in there. Yeah. So it comes with all of these like pegs on top, it comes with a hammer, and then it comes with a bunch of like cards. So I think you put the card on top of here, you take out all of the pegs, and then you have your child follow this pattern. So they put the correct pegs down here and then they hammer it down. Hit it. Ooh, is that cool? Okay. Yeah? You like this can one, I huh? Try one? I can tell Rory is really going to love this one. So the next one that I'm going to pull out is this one right here. Rory is going to love that one. Oh yes, Rory loves stacking things. So this is their twist and pivot pattern puzzle every piece fits in a different way Look, so let's take off, take off these things so here is what it looks like these colors are so pretty i, I love things one. like this rora specifically stacking. loves like stacking cups I actually have some stacking cups in our playroom and then we also have a wooden rainbow that you can stack. So those are like some of Rory's favorite things. Look at mama. Hey look, they blink cool. one of these too. And oh, wow. so what it means by stacking in a different way. So for example, <laughs> you wanna take that one? Take that one. So for this pink one, as you can see, it's kind of a struggle for Rory because you actually have to twist this one off 
which is really neat because it's not like just taking it off. Oh, and then for this one, as you can see, it has, look, like it looks like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Maybe it is. So there's a bunch of different shapes on here. So it gets your child thinking like this one has a square. So the next thing I'm going to pull out is this. And this looks like a science kit. So this is their liquid lab lessons in liquid conservation. One of Layla's favorite subjects is actually science, right? Yeah. You want to go ahead and show them this one? Yeah. So this one. Is, uh, so it comes with like a bunch of beakers and this is like funnel tube so, you could, so it's easier to pour it in mm -hmm. and like I said it comes with a like playbook so that way it like kind of guides you on how to use this stuff okay. how to play with your things <laughs> so Layla is back there now playing with Aurora so let's see what this is so this looks like a timer so this is the countdown color timer, anticipating transitions together with color. So that's what that one looks like. The next thing in the box is this, and there's a whole bunch of cards in here. So this is their things that move memory game, concentrate, memorize, and match with modes of transportation. So it's a memory game. So it's all about transportation. So there's cars in here. There's planes, there's bikes. Yes, the girls love memory games. Mm -hmm. So I found the bean bags. They were all the way in the bottom of the box. So here are the bean bags for the hoops that I showed you guys in the beginning. So it comes with three of them, a red one, a yellow one, and a blue one. So the last thing in this play kit is a book. This is the play date book. Learning to play together. So here's what it looks like. So the thing about Montessori is you steer clear from like cartoons. So all the pictures and like books are realistic. So the next play kit that we're going to open is the free spirit play kit. This is for ages 34, 35, and 36 months. So a little bit older than the last one that I showed you. So here is what it looks like at first glance. And then again, it comes with this, so that way you know everything that's in the box. So the first thing that I noticed right away are these really cool rock blocks. Can I Those are cool, huh? Ooh, me and Roy, I have an imagination already. We could pretend they're cool rocks we see. <laughs> so this is their solid wood stacking boulders practicing balance with irregular shapes so as you can see these are not like your traditional square blocks so these are going to get your child like really thinking on how they can stack them because they're very odd shaped so they're going to have to kind of like play around with them try to figure out how they can stack them without them falling down so those are really cool look mama the box. Rory's over here playing with everything. <laughs> yeah, Rory's enjoying this video. She's like loving it. So the next thing in the box that catches my eye right away are these. And these look like little wooden peg people, which I've actually been wanting to get the girls for a while now. So I'm super excited for this. So this is their Van Gogh Outdoor Adventure. Pretend play with new wooden friends. They so they're little peg like people. This. They're so cute, and they come in these little like sleeping bags. So here's yeah, the wooden nice. people, and then it has like a pillow, and it's a little sleeping pouch. This That's one so cute. is like a grass one. They have all different Yeah, so there's kinds. a red one, a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one. Yep. And then it also comes with this little tent for your wooden people uh, to sleep in. How adorable so is that? Cute. So the next thing I'm going to grab is this and this actually goes this goes with this so this is a wooden counting box learning numbers through visuals sounds and motion so here is the wooden counting box that it comes with so i'm gonna have to read up on this one and figure out how they play with this but it looks like from the picture that you put you get one of the cards you put it on the top and then your child has to put 
the correct number of pegs in the hole. The next thing in the box is Reach for the Stars matching cards. So this is a game for early executive function. So it says try matching the cards by shape or color. So here's what the cards here's what the cards look like. So it has shapes on it and colors. So there's also a book in this box as well. This one is called Now That I'm Three. So this would be a good book for Aurora because she does turn three at the end of this year. So this talks about what does independence look like. And that is definitely Aurora because lately she's been wanting to like wash her hands by herself. She's been wanting to get dressed by herself. So this book would be a really good read for us because I can definitely tell she's gaining more independence and she's more like confident in herself and doing things. A wooden camper. Girls, look at this camper. Oh my gosh. It's cool. So this is a wooden camper with locking doors. Now things function with locks, doors, and wheels. So the doors actually lock in this camper. So there's a door on this side, and then there's a door on this side as well. And then I think this is the key right here. It does sound like a key. Yep. So here is the keys for the camper. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, let's put the keys in here so that way we don't lose the key for now. Yeah. So we'll leave one side unlocked and the other side locked so that way the key stays in there. So that is super cute. The girls are obsessed with like cars and trucks. The last thing in the box, I believe this is a puzzle. So this is their land and sky two part puzzle board. So the shapes again are not like your typical puzzle. So it makes it a little bit more challenging for your child. So that was actually everything in our play kits. So the last thing that I have to share with you guys is actually for a baby girl. So if you're new here, I am pregnant. I'm now 23 weeks pregnant with my fourth daughter. So I'm really, really excited for this. This was actually on my baby registry. I've been looking for a like play gym for baby girl and this one had like the highest ratings. So I've been eyeing this forever. So I'm so excited for this. Here is what it looks like as soon as you open the box. So again, it comes with a card that tells you everything that's in here. So I'm gonna just lay it out in front of me so I can read that to you guys again. I'm not going to build this right now because I am only 23 weeks pregnant, so I don't want to have this set up in the house yet. That way it doesn't get like dusty and stuff. So I'm going to keep it stored in the box. So I'll take out everything and I'll show you guys and then I'll insert like a picture right here so you guys can see what it looks like set up. But what I really liked about this play gym is that you can use this all the way from like newborn till your child is a year old. So I really like that because Typically for play gyms, they can kind of be a little pricey and you can only use them to like around like six months and then your child is kind of too big for it. They're kind of over it. So this book talks about how you can play with your child with the gym based on their age. So there's a tab in here for zero to 12 weeks, three to four months, five to six months, seven to eight months, 9 to 10 months, and then 11 to 12 months. So here is the mat. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So here's the mat that goes underneath the arch. Hopefully you guys can see this because it's like really big. So there's like a bunch of like sounds and there's like different things for your child to feel, like different textures. So there's this one and there's tags on here. There's like little strings and there's rainbows and there's pulley tags. There's just a lot of stuff on here. And I believe you can actually put like pictures in these tabs too. So that's really cool. So there's just a whole bunch of things on this play mat. So there's even like teething ring right here. It comes with black and white cards. 
So here's what the cards look like. So just a bunch of pictures. And I believe these pictures slide into the slot that I showed you guys on the playmat. It also comes with mirrors. And there's also a picture of a dog in here. There's a picture of a child in here. That's so cute. There's a ball. And then like I said, the thing with Montessori is you want to steer clear from like cartoon pictures. So having realistic pictures is so beneficial for your child. Mommy, this one. <gasps> wow. This one and this one was tricky for me because I got this one with right here and that one. So and they finished too. the puzzle. So here's what the puzzle looks like. I don't want to spill it, but. So here are the arches that attach to the play mat. So they're wooden, so really good quality. And then it has this toy on here, it's kind of like a rattle. And then your child can reach on right here. There's this one that makes a sound. And then a like teething silicone ring right here. And then there's a ball. Oh, it comes with a cover so this is for when your child is a little bit older you can actually throw this over like the wooden arches and then your child has like a play tent so that is so cool so i can definitely tell you my older children are going to be playing with baby girls play mats because they are obsessed with tents and forts right girls yep so the last thing that comes with the play gym oh this is just the uh, the top part for your wooden arches to put together all right guys so that is actually everything that i have to share with you guys today that's everything that love every sent us as you can see the girls have wasted no time at all and they are playing with everything already rora is over here playing with the camper and what are you playing with layla Science. The science I'm kit. I'm pretending I'm making a barking and this is it coming out. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Love Every for sending us all of these toys. What do we say, girls? Thank you, Love <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Ram Family. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Go ahead. Go end it. Go end it.